If we just open it up. On the bottom of each scroll uh, was the soldier's full name. He took it on as a labour of love to recognise the fact that these soldiers had died. Today we'll be looking at um, the Queensland Registry of Births, Deaths and Marriages, registers of all the Queensland soldiers um, who enlisted in Queensland who died during World War I. In front of me I have a, um, a typical register that was um, compiled using information that was, um, that was taken from the soldier's service record and also information that was received from the soldier's family. Um, and these records, there's, there's around about 9,600 of them, were all compiled with a thousand names in each register and one jet register with 600 names in them. Queensland's unique um, in this fact. We're the only state in Australia holding such a comprehensive collection of deaths for World War I. There's a very interesting story about the compilation of these registers. They were a work of love by a gentleman called George Porter. Um, George Porter was originally a, uh, a clerk in the Registry of Births, Deaths and Marriages and he rose through the ranks to actually become the Registrar General. On his way through when he was a senior clerk, he um, thought it would be a great thing to honour the dead from World War I, our Queenslanders. He did it all in his own time with a group of volunteers from the registry. Not a cent of government, or not a shilling of government money was spent on this at the time um, because he'd, he'd asked, we would requested that he, he'd be allocated resources and time to do this. He didn't receive a response back, so he went and did it himself. So when Porter received his information back from the War Office, he confirmed that the soldier had in fact died in Queensland. He then prepared letters for the families he sourced the address and contact details from the soldier service record. He attached a blank um, death registration form and he sent those out to the families by post. Now, if we think back to the 1920s, post wasn't in postal trucks as it is today. So, and this is the reason basically why it took so many years to compile these registers. So these letters were sent out to the families. Um, the families compiled the information on the death registration form and then sent that back to Porter. Once Porter got all the information back, um, these registers are, are actually in alphabetical order. So all of the responses need to be sorted out. And we can see by the register if we have a quick look. They're all handwritten. And again, they're the only record that um, that exist in Australia of such a comprehensive list of registrations for deaths of soldiers. We've got dozens of collections here at State Library and uh, they really complement the, the death registers at the Registry of Births, Deaths and Marriages in Queensland. Many of the collections we have here have all sorts of um, items, objects pertaining to the soldier's service and some of those pertain to the soldier's death. So some of these things are official uh, documents or uh, objects and some of them are unofficial and all of them have been kept by their families and passed down through the generations and now find themselves in the State Library's collection. So we can see here the, the detail that um, Porter and his crew went to to compile these registers and the information in here um, basically states where or who the soldier was, the family of the soldier, um, how the soldier died um, and a lot of the times where he died but a lot of the times we've got um, unknown for the place that he died which is a bit sad um, and you can also as I said before you can identify the, the battle that the soldier uh, was killed and some of them are wounds this soldier died of pneumonia and as we as we mentioned before we can even identify sometimes brothers so two of the names we will find in the death registers uh, William and John Fraser, uh, brothers from Kalulaban near Yandina. They both unfortunately died. The Fraser family had three sons, uh, two of whom went to war and neither of whom came home. Um, we have a nice little collection here at State Library containing some images and some letters and some little memorial cards. So there's an image of, of 
here of William Fraser and it says who his parents were and when he died and how old he was and you could choose a little verse to go in the bottom caption. Similarly, uh, there's one for John as well. So one of the unofficial things families could collect to uh, indicate and, and memorialise their dead sons or husbands or fathers. So there, there were quite a number of um, letters from families about their son. One letter was from a mother who didn't actually know her son had passed away um, until she received Porter's letters. All of these letters along with the registrations have been digitised so they're all available now online um, in our search engine and then you can search for them and you can see um, or you can download these for a cost and you can download them immediately to your computer. Mm. So one of the collections we have here at State Library is the collection of Francis Henry Staunton or Frank to his family. So he was a shearer from Richmond and he enlisted in at the end of 1914 and went to war with 25th Battalion. So unfortunately he, he died at Poziers in July 1916. Frank was particularly close to his mother. He sent home various souvenir items for her and wrote letters home. Uh, so in the collection are some lovely and heartfelt letters from Frank's superior officer, a, a Captain Connor, who he knew actually from the Richmond district and who wrote to his mum uh, expressing his condolences at Frank's passing. As part of the commemoration of World War I uh, between 2014 and 2018, they've produced or we've produced two certificates. They're two quite tasteful certificates, obviously different designs. One of Poppy, one of a soldier or soldiers. And um, if you, if you go into your um, search engine and you identify the person that you want, you can actually request to order one of these. So, and they're, obviously they're a, they're a nice keepsake to recognise the details of the, of the fallen soldier.